Today's the day. It came to me in a dream and like it's just a fail. So it's making me nervous. That's so easy. So has this all been a waste? makeover on this room about a year ago and one thing that's been really annoying me is this spot here it needs work now the thing that keeps coming to my mind is a lamp I've been wanting to get a lamp something interesting something Facebook marketplace I don't know something I have been looking and looking and looking nothing interesting is happening in the lamp department on Facebook marketplace in my area for the past couple of weeks that's made me start thinking okay why don't I use this opportunity to do some kind of DIY so I've been looking online, blah, blah, blah. I kept coming back to this one that is this wood veneer, curved wood. I was like, yeah, that's too hard. I went on Ikea and I found that they have these lamps that it must be the most basic thing ever. So I bought three and I thought then if I've got the base, like the function of a lamp, I can really then do what I want with that. That's all I want is that just base, you know? Now that I feel like that's sorted in my head, I can start to think about, maybe I could do this wood thing. Now there's two options. There is this one that is full curved where the base of it actually turns into the lampshade. I think that that looks really good, but also is way harder. And the alternative, which is definitely way easier, is this one that still has the same kind of wood base that I could definitely recreate so easily, but just with a normal lampshade on the top or, you know, a separate lampshade that's not part of the base wood. What I've realized is all you really need is a piece of wood veneer that's bendy enough to do this. And then you'd need a clip at the back. I think that might be quite hard to find the right type of thing that's strong enough. I've looked at it, I've stared at it for so long and I've been thinking about it. It's all one straight thing instead of having seams in it. But that's the part that makes it hard. And this is always the case with DIYs, is the part that makes it look very expensive and very intriguing to your eye is also the part that happens to be the hard part. The challenge for me will be figuring out how to get a piece that big because the, the lamp is 1.5 tall, but then I would need extra width for the lampshade part. And to get something that's 1.5 tall and 1.5 wide or whatever it might need to be is going to be the hard part and that'll probably be what makes it expensive. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and buy just some wood veneer contact paper because it's way cheaper and easier to work with. And that way I can make a version of it with contact paper and then make a template of it. And if I like the look of it, I can then go and buy some wood veneer and do that. So I'm gonna just see how I go and test it. Now, when it comes to wood veneer, the image on Pinterest that I'm copying off, I'm pretty sure is birch. I like it and I'd happily copy exactly that. I think it's gonna come down to what the measurements are, what works with the dimensions that I need. And I'll only really know the dimensions that I need once I do the contact paper. I suppose part one of this project is practicing a template with wood veneer contact paper. So I got contact paper yesterday with the intention that I could practice on that. And then once I know that that works, I can then try with actual wood veneer. I practiced just with normal paper just to create the shape. And I thought I had it all figured out. And so last night I wanted to just get straight into it and start it, but I thought, no, I'll wait till tomorrow. And thank God I did because it came to me in a dream. I figured out exactly what it needs to be and it's actually way easier and the shape is way easier to cut, I think. So I'm gonna try it now. The best way I think to create this and what I think the original actually is, is one whole piece with a hole in the middle and then it's folded over. So I'm gonna just try that with paper now to make sure that what I think works, works. And then I'm going to recreate it with contact paper and just see that I've got the dimensions right and everything. And then if it works, then I can know exactly what the dimensions are, order veneer, and then I can actually go ahead and create it. Now, the only problem I think I'm going to have with the veneer is I can't seem to find it in real life. The super thin bendy stuff, I can only seem to find online. And it does seem to be that there's a few different veneers. There is big blocks of veneer that's quite thick that you can't bend. And then there's very thin ribbon strips essentially of it that's very bendy, but it's only very thin for the edge, like for the trim of things. And so what I want is something that's 
both. I want a big sheet of it, but I want it to be very, very thin. So that's quite hard to find. So I'm gonna have to basically figure it out as I go. So I've cut it out. <laughs> this is my shape. And so this is what came to me in dream last night. So I'm gonna test it out now to see if my idea works because if this is the shape, this is very easy to copy. So my idea is that it folds like this to create the base and then Yeah, that's basically the idea. That's so easy. I've just got to get the <laughs> dimensions right. So I obviously want this to be thicker. And maybe as I think about it, if I make this top bit thicker, and so move this shape down, then it can be thicker. If I make, if I make this bigger, I can always trim it shorter. And then also the base of it, I could also trim along here if I wanted it to be thinner. I don't really know what I want it to be. One thing though, is that obviously this is the front of the, if this is the front of the sheet, when I fold it over, this bit, the lampshade is actually the back, which on a white piece of paper doesn't matter, but on contact paper it does. And probably the veneer that I'll get, probably will have a right side and a wrong side. Maybe I'll just make one more. Yeah, I'll just make one more and see how it goes. But this, you get the idea that this, would just be pinned there and then I could bring it in there but I don't I do want it to be wider at the bottom that was actually so much easier and less complicated than what I thought it was going to be so I think I'm on to something here I've got my second one now shape wise so just to compare this is the original this is the second I didn't lower it that much but anyway we'll just compare how this works so what was it so I'm pinching it at the like bottom of the window bit and then so this one's a bit harder to do probably because that is bigger now but maybe actually I'm just gonna try this one more time I think oh will I or is this actually exactly what I want I think this is a little bit big if I compare to the other one Somewhere in between these is right. And I actually am just gonna try one more time because I think the back is too big, even on this one. And so I think I'd like to keep this, this like the, the lampshade this size, but actually the bottom of this a little bit thinner. Maybe half the width. So BRB. Here's my previous one. I have kept the window the same. But what I'm gonna do is I've just done these to go in. They probably need it to be a bit rounded. Like that, something like that. Okay, attempt three. This is the final shape I have. So pinch, fold. I think we're nearly there. I just think that, I'm just gonna trim this because I think that that little, bit at the top. Okay, what about now? It's not folding as well, but I... That's what I want. Okay, the final pattern. Looks like a keyhole. So then I can just go pinch and fold. Well, then it just happens. I worry about with wood if the wood veneer will be this easy to work with. But I assume so, someone's done it before to create the thing I'm copying. But this is, I'm really happy with this. Ah, okay, so here's a top tip. Fold around the top first like that and then pinch it and it just creates itself. This project is getting easier and easier. So fold down, this will probably work with the wood then and then pinch. That's how to do it. So that's where I started and that's where I've ended up. It's not that much difference really, but you could totally customize it. But I'm happy with this wider thing and thinner base. Perfect. I think I'm going to go with this one for now. And if I stuff it up, plan B will be this one. So here I am with my completed sketch on the contact paper. 
Now I could, I, I tried to measure it a bit. I could have been more pedantic about it and I could even do it when I'm cutting it out. But I've decided this is organic. Let's go with the organic vibe. It makes it easier. And that's why I kind of like DIYing like organic shapes because organic's really just like a sophisticated word to say like not perfect. And so I like that. Anyway, so I'm just going to start cutting now and see how this turns out. This is how it's looking. So you can see where I ran out of contact paper. I actually think it's about right. I just wish this window in the center was smaller because I think that's what it needs. Maybe this, this part's supposed to be a circle. Oh, I don't know. When I get to the actual wood, I'm going to make this hole smaller and then I can always cut it bigger, but I'd rather start smaller because obviously you can't go back on that. So it's over and then in half. I think we can get there. I think we can get there. I've just got to let it sit flat for a while. Okay, so it's finally here. It has taken almost a month to arrive. They, they were fairly good with their communication, I must say. I would probably buy from them again, the wood veneer hub, but I've literally just basically spent a month thinking about this, knowing that I've like figured it out in my head, figured it out with a piece of paper, but honestly feeling like nervous if it's gonna work at this scale, if I can actually do this, because if not, it's been a waste of money, it's been a waste of time, and like, it's just a fail. And so I've been thinking about it and I do have a plan. If it does fail, what I'm going to do is just chop off the bit that's trying to be the lampshade as well and just have like a wood veneer base. Like that would be something and it would look cool, but it just wouldn't be like the super, super cool that I'm trying to make. So I just like, today's the day. Today's the day that I'm going to find out I feel, I actually, I don't know why, but I, I feel nervous. I've never done anything with wood veneer before and I don't know if this is gonna be like too thick. I don't even know what it's gonna be like. I need to open it because I don't know, like, is it gonna be, um, is it not gonna be flimsy enough? I specifically found one that was thin enough, well, th as thin as I could find so that it could, you know, bend like paper because I know that I can make it work on a small scale with paper. Oh, it looks, it looks good. That's what it looks like. What I'm going to do is lay it down and then I'm going to overlay. Actually, let's, before I do that, just to remind myself with my little demonstration, it's just such a joke, this thing, like it's just so useless, but I, I have refined one feature of this and I've realized that what I actually want here is a point. I want it to come to a point. I only get one chance to cut this piece of wood veneer in the box. So I need to make sure that I'm happy with these dimensions. And like, yeah, I can't come up, I, I can't come up with anything better. Like, so I'm gonna make the outside the same size. I'm going to make this hidey hole here a little bit smaller because I can always cut it bigger. And I probably keep the rest of it just the same. And then I can review, but I am gonna, instead of having this, I'm gonna bring it to a point. But anyway, I'm really glad to get started. The veneer sheet that I bought was 244 by 122 centimeters. I'll add a link in the description to the exact one that I bought. Don't mind my little stool over here. That's a project that I'm currently in the middle of, but I've literally abandoned to do this one because I'm so excited to try this one. Now, looking at this, it's definitely, I would have liked it to be a little bit thinner, although I don't know if you can actually get thinner wood veneer than this. So it's making me nervous, to be honest. I'm feeling I'm feeling quite nervous that this is just gonna be a stuff up. Like it's just, like if you compare this on a large scale to paper, paper's a bit, well maybe paper is similar. I don't know, I've just gotta try, I just gotta try it and just go for it. I just need to like get the courage to start, you know? I'm laying this down here. I'm going to put these clips to like hold it in place so I can go around the edge. But I'm going to leave this. This is a lot longer than the contact paper was. And I think I'm gonna leave down the end here because then I can have that as a piece of scrap that maybe I could make something else with or something. Maybe even I do this. Yeah, this is probably, 
even better idea because then I've got a longer strip down there as well that I'll be able to salvage to use for something. My advice for this part of the project is just to take it really slow and be really careful. Oh yeah, and definitely do not cut that leaf shape in the center. That was a big mistake. We'll get to that later. But just with cutting around the edges, I just did it really, really slowly. I put down a mat underneath just to make sure that I wasn't going to damage the floor. And I found that I really needed to really carefully, slowly go around the edge and then come back and sort of redo it to fully cut through. So it's sort of like that first cut you're doing is really just like carving out the path that it's going to take. And then that second cut is the one that, that then fully cuts through the wood veneer. So I've cut out the whole shape. I think I need to go and like just refine some of the cuts. They're not deep enough, but it's time to do the centre. And this is the part I'm most nervous about. I think I'm just going to start with a little like pinched out sort of leaf shape almost. I can't undo a cut. I'm really nervous. You can see that I kept saying how nervous I was feeling at this point and in retrospect, that was my instincts telling me that this leaf shape was a terrible idea. And I believe that it was that decision that was the biggest stuff up of the entire project. Here it is. It's obviously a lot more sturdy than the contact paper prototype, but uh, I'm worried it's too sturdy. It might not do what I want it to do. So has this all been a waste? but I am determined to find a way to create this because I figured it out with paper. So all I'm trying to do now is get the material right. And I'm starting to think maybe even if I did it with some kind of other material that I need to think about, it could, it could look just as cool as wood. I'd ideally like for this to work. I think I'd like it to be like this way. I think this is gonna be, oh no! Okay, well, we'll just work with what's going on here. And I must say, it feels like, oh, okay, I think it's happening. I think it's happening. I think it's happening. Oh, that's it. It worked. Oh, if only I didn't have that break there. It literally just snapped there. Okay, I need to get a bulldog clip. Okay, so, like obviously mine isn't like stylish, but like that's something I can figure out later. I would call that a success. I'm just, I'm just having a look at the details now to just reflect on this, cause it's very tempting to wanna wait another month and get some more veneer. Obviously this little split here is very upsetting but it's not the end of the world. I wonder if the fact that I made it into a point down here made that happen, and if I had a smooth edge, it wouldn't have split. I don't know. But the rest of it, it looks like it. I'm so happy, I was so nervous that it wasn't gonna work. I could fiddle with it a bit, and I feel like the original sort of goes down like that. Oh, I can sort of pull that down. Okay, okay. I think I'm, 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 to be quite honest, I'm very scared of doing any more damage to this. Just add a second bulldog clip, but it literally stands. It worked. I'm so annoyed about that crack there though. But other than that, this has literally worked. So finally I was ready to gently place it over the IKEA base and it was really quite simple because the back of it is open so I just gently and slowly slid it on and it's actually really secure and it just stands there perfectly and obviously uh, would be better if I didn't have had the incident but it's still cool. So I am so proud of myself. I'm so happy this worked out. It's just so annoying that not only did this split, but like it becomes actually so noticeable when the light is on and it seems to be spreading. It's now down to here. But like, what can you do? The way that it's ended up working is that the bulb is about here. But for now, for now, I'm just gonna be happy with myself under my little, under my little lamp and just like enjoy the vibes, you know? 
and like the bulldog clips I could get a nicer bulldog clip but like with all my projects I actually really enjoy having little things that like that remind you of, of what the project is and that I want to always aim for perfection but I don't actually want everything to be like perfect perfect I want it to represent what I've done now you can see the little feet coming out the bottom and I think that's another reason why Ideally, I'd want to make the bottom of this just a little bit wider so that it just spread out like a skirt around that. But for now, it's not bothering me too much. When I've really got a fully cooked idea in my head and I know exactly what I would do differently and how I can guarantee not to have this split, although it's turning into a bit of a, like from that angle, it's kind of architectural. Once I've really got that figured out, I think I probably will try and make another one because you know that's what I always do so yeah for now I'm just going to appreciate this beautiful lamp I'm so proud of myself so I'll leave a link in the description to all of the things that I used for this especially this wood keep in mind that it takes a long time to arrive and if you were wondering about that stool that was unfinished in the other room I have that video as well so I have plenty more ideas of things that I want to make like this and so make sure you subscribe if you want to see more i actually can't believe this has happened <laughs> i've been editing this video like looking to get all the images that i found on pinterest and i've come across the guy who made it the artist emmanuel he seems to be a really cool guy he has on his website literally a video on how he made this i actually can't believe i didn't come across this until now and literally in his video, he shows the template. So look, it's like marking my homework at this point. I've done the little exercise and now, only now have I come across the answers. And look, I'm gonna give myself some points because I think overall I got the shape right. And yes, I figured out the hard way that the center needs to be a circle, okay. I got the material right and I got the overall shape right. I did say after I made this that I wish I had made the skirt flare out and be wider at the bottom and that's what his does. I think now that I've done the exercise and I've seen the homework answers, I think I could give myself a solid A- minus for this and I think that's a fair mark to give myself really.